conference keynote is a speaker that offers conversation that I know, ladies, will never forget. We will experience her wisdom, her candor. She'll talk to us about the future, and she'll retell us a story of her journey that brought her to this day. It's my esteemed honor, and what a privilege. Thank you so much for allowing me to introduce your keynote speaker this afternoon, Meg Whitman. And um, I will tell you, two individuals inspired me to think beyond my career in business, and that was Mitt Romney and John McCain, who I also had the privilege of serving as his national co-chair for his presidential election. And they really did encourage me to think around about public service. So I um, began to think very hard about it uh, 18 months ago, and, and nine weeks ago I actually announced that I was a candidate for the Republican nomination for governor in the state of California. And Meg creates this amazing energy, this refreshing energy that calls out and says, I want to come and help you. I want to help you get to where you're going. In the end, it's all about leadership, isn't it? It's about the vision you have, it's the people you surround you, yourself with, and it is the 150% all in, all effort, all the time. I think women are sort of an unspoken, untapped resource for, for politics. So I have a, a very focused agenda for the state of California because I think if you try to solve world hunger and try to boil the ocean, you will get eaten alive by the state legislature, by the unions, by um, the entrenched bureaucracy, by, by the entrenched interests. She understands the big picture. And I think what she bring, is bringing to the table right now that is more than a lot of other politicians is she does have business experience. She has signed the bottom line. First is, we have to restore the economic engine that is California, job creation and job retention. And that has to be the number one lens through which all policy is viewed. Does it help create jobs? And does it keep jobs in California? If it doesn't do one of those two things, then it has to go down on the priority list. You know, for me, uh, I've been a Democrat for most of my life. and. I love that results-driven business approach to trying to solve some of the issues in California. Number two is spending. And in order to be competitive to keep jobs here, we have to run our government efficiently and energetically and spend other people's money, what I call OPM, like it is our own. And trust me when I tell you in California, we, we do not have a revenue problem. We have a spending problem of epic proportions. Women will embrace her initiatives and her, her her desire to bring California up first. And then my third focus is K-12 education. Because as you know, in California, we were just rated 47th out of 50 states in math, K-12, through and 48th out of 50 states in reading. And uh, if we do not get our arms around this, we will wake up with a much diminished workforce, and we will wake up in a much diminished state. And so when I heard that she was going to be r running for governor, I thought, that's exactly what we need in California. We need someone to come in with her passion, with her ingenuity, with her vision, and take over this state and do a lot of recreation that it needs. 